Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to make some zinc iodine battery. This is because many people are afraid about making some zinc bromide batteries. Uh, because if you have some open zinc bromide cell, uh, then in this case, when you charge the zinc bromide battery, over the time you will start to smell some bromide. And actually this is not really good for you. That's why the best possible solution to this is of course to make some zinc iodine battery. Because iodine is in some solid form and you will not get so many fumes like you will get by zinc bromide battery. So if you ask me, the zinc bromide battery is still really good battery. But actually you need to put a little bit more work into some housing and so on. And in the end then you can get really really nice zinc bromide battery. Actually if you want to see how is made some zinc bromide static battery, the link will be in the description. Now I will make some zinc iodon battery. So the construction of this zinc iodon battery is almost the same like I made by zinc bromide static battery. Here I have the positive current collector which is some graphite plate. Here I have the negative electrode which is the zinc, some separator and I will use this activated carbon felt. But instead of using this activated carbon felt you can also use some activated carbon powder which also works really really good. But instead of using some zinc bromide electrolyte in this one I will use zinc iodide electrolyte. So first I will make this battery and then I will show you how I make this zinc iodide electrolyte. Which is in basic really really simple. But first I will construct this cell. The electrolyte which I use is this zinc iodide electrolyte and for the supporting electrolyte in this cell again I will use some zinc sulfate but instead of zinc sulfate you can also use some uh, potassium iodide and so on. But in my case like I said I will use this zinc sulfate supporting electrolyte. Okay, the battery is charging and now I will show you how I make this zinc iodide electrolyte. Okay, to make this zinc iodide is really easy because only what you need is some iodine and some zinc. And these two materials I actually mix in ratio 1 to 1. Which means if I use 2 grams of iodine then I will also use 2 grams of zinc. Because in the end you will end up with some zinc iodide solution and some unreacted solid zinc on the bottom. So because this, uh, this zinc iodide which I will make right here is only for demonstration that's why I will use small amounts. Okay, around 2 grams.
okay 2.1 grams of zinc so again you will not have any problems if you add a little bit more zinc now I will crush this iodine crystals Oops. And now you need to mix these two materials really, really good. If you want that direction will happen, you need to add a little bit of water. In my case, I will use around, I don't know, 10 milliliters. So, do this electrolyte in some really well ventilated area. And now you get some zinc aldehyde solution and some unreacted zinc which will be on the bottom. Now I will show you that here I really have some zinc aldehyde. That's why I will put inside two graphite rods and I will connect to my power supply. So this one is the positive, this one is the negative electrode. Okay, I charge this using carbon battery a little bit. Now I will measure the voltage, so you can also see here the forming of iodine.
I get 1.3 volts. Nice. So the voltage of the zinc Alden battery is slower like by zinc bromide battery. Very nice. So that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.